guys today we are cooking some thanksgiving turkeys but i'm doing them on the vault and i'm doing them a way that y'all probably never seen it done before uh the motorhome's in the shop and i left all my barbecue guru stuff in it because i normally cook my turkeys on the drum smoker so it's always good to have a backup plan because you know chicken and poultry cooked over the coals gives you the best flavor so and I didn't have no B&B and everybody's clothes, so I just got to use these old briquette things today. I'm getting them burned off. That way there ain't no smoke coming off of them. But uh, we got the vault set up for a direct heat. And let me tell you, it gives some really good flavor. You just got to be careful. Make sure you choke the intake down a little bit so you don't get no flaming fires in the chamber. So let's uh, take a look. 50 degrees from where I plan on cooking at. So what I did was you shut, you shut your vault valve down. I shut it down, you know, to about a quarter open. And you're going to have carryover heat. You know, you're, you're, uh, the insulation is going to catch up all the heat in there. So, you know, we don't got no crazy smoke coming out of it. And we got the vault set up for direct heat. And we're going to cook them turkeys right there. And I'll tell you what, it works pretty good. I like lump charcoal better, but I've done it like this before just for practice and you know, once you let all that smoke burn off them briquettes, they uh, they work pretty good. It's all right. I don't really care for the flavor, but my whole family loves it, and it wins competition. So, you know what? If you can't with it, get with it, get lost. And you got to be careful when you close your door, also, because if you close your door and anything like my vault that's got a really good seal on the door, like really good seal, you'll blow ash everywhere. So you get it pretty close to closed, and then close it like that, so you don't blow ash everywhere. Well, guys, we're going to go ahead and get these turkeys on, and uh, I'll show you all some updated pictures and videos yeah, later. So we got the uh, turkeys on there. You know, uh, got that direct cooking smell. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. It's not. It's different than cooking not over the coals. It's it's something about the juices from poultry that drips on them coals that gives this wonderful flavor, man. It's just awesome. So. You make a little bit of mess getting your stuff in there, but it's all right. It's a barbecue pit. It's not a show car. Anyways, uh, she's good and settled in. The birds have been on for about 20 minutes. Uh, temperature's stabilizing. We've got the birds on. Got some kingsfords in there. And these big old mohunker turkey breasts. Mm. Got them with that. Hear them hear it, hear it hitting the, the coals. Oh yeah, that's that, that sound and flavor you want. Makes everything taste real good. Huh. We ain't hardly lose no temperature. I love these pit makers, man. And it'll set a rod back in about 300. It'll probably, uh, today we're probably gonna be cooking about 325 for about two and a half hours. So I'll hit you up when they're just about done. So. Uh, They've been on now about an hour and a half. Uh, kind of hard to see that, but yeah, it's uh, cooking cooking along good. Oh, some good looking turkey breasts. So, I'm gonna go ahead and check the temperatures on them. Two, one thirty-eight, one forty-six. All right, guys. So I ramped the temperature up on. I just checked the internal temperature while I go on the the birds. I ramped the vaults up to about three seventy-five. I uh, I want to get these birds done and get that skin perfect on them. So like you can see, we still got lots of coals left. I mean, I probably put way too many coals in there, honestly, but. I haven't done it this way in a while, so let's give these birds a look and I'll show you. See how I have nice skin browned up on them like that? Just freaking perfect. And uh, let me get this thermopan out and uh, give them a little test. This one's 158, which it'll carry over cook. This one's 161, 160. I mean, these are freaking right on the money this one's about 170 it's a little small one so anyways 
time for these babies to come off and that's how you cook uh, cook directly on the vault you put the uh, charcoal pan inside the cook chamber and you cook on it and you control your airflow with your normal water valve so that's how we do it boys happy Thanksgiving on the pit maker vault